Hey everyone, it's me, Chandler, and I wanted to just point out that this weekend's video is um, a video that me and Jill did about a couple months ago. Um, it was our first video that we did together. Um, that This was like a part two. So if you've seen the first video that we did, um, this was on that same day. So this video right now that I'm posting is a continuation of that one. It was Ruby Volume 8 Episode 8 or 9, I believe. But um, that's that's what we're posting for this weekend. Um, we will all be back soon, so just stay tuned for... Um, just stay tuned for updates and everything. Keep hitting us up on Instagram and um, go check out um, last weekend's video with Bree doing her first show. And until the next uh, podcast, enjoy this episode. Hey. So we're back with another video. And this time we just decided to record both these videos in a single day because we didn't want to wait. So there, if you watched the video before this one, um, you'll know the reason as to why we're doing both today. Um, of course, you'll know it's from today because we're wearing the exact same thing. You can see Angel in the back. and uh, The only difference is that we now we have plushies. <laughs> yeah, my favorite, my plushies. Thank you, Amazon. And, um, you know, it's funny. They had, they, these are not the plushies they had in um, Rooster Teeth's uh, 12, day, 12 Days of Christmas. Oh, seriously? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, I mean, like, I mean, they also, you guys also helped me with that uh, um, flag that's back there. And then, um, and the hoodie as well, along with the, um, you can't see them, but the Funko Pops. But there are two, uh, there's two figures that are up there that I had, to, that I got from the Rooster Teeth store. Um, you guys are good. And I'm expecting myself to go ape shit on this one, because this one is about, uh, Yang, Ren, and Jean, and their uh, adventures inside the whale. And they're gonna be attempting to rescue Oscar. So... I'm, all I have to say is Harriet is still my least favorite person right now. So if she if she attempts to blow up that stupid whale while Yang is still inside of it, we gonna have problems. Yeah. So this is my favorite person in the freaking show. That's for sure. I almost bought a Yang shirt, by the way, but Aww. we'll have to wait. For I would have stolen them from you, probably. Of course. Okay. And back to the plushie. Like, of course. Here's Ruby. And she has brown hair, but... She had brown hair in, like, the first few episodes. you remember that? Before she got, the, like, the red streak in there? It's It's been a while since I watched that one, so... Oh, we're gonna binge watch. We'll, we'll... We gonna binge watch. Yeah, but either way, I mean, they're so freaking soft. So, we are gonna get ready to watch the, the latest. Uh, it's Valentine's Day weekend, and the, the latest one from here... Episode 9 of Volume 8. The Witch. Yeah, and um, how many episodes are in this whole? Uh, thought, I'm guessing I... twelve to thirteen because that's the average of a uh, Rooster Teeth volume. I remember they movie. did. I remember they did do a. Sh they did do a Q and A on how many episodes there were. Okay, one. That's not how to end the show. Two. I hated that. I loved it, but I hated it. It was getting so good. And three! What did Oscar just do? Also, Yang finally called Summer her mom, and I love that. I know that she's hinted at it in the past, but she's never, like, actually verbally acknowledged it and said it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, I'm sorry, but that... What happened right there is way too much right now because now the next episode is until next saturday i can't wait i i want to know what happened did he defeat her did she escape what did what happened they can't beat her she's immortal hazel literally yeah. smashed her face in yeah and then she came back i don't know what oscar just did to her but whatever it is i want to know if like what if there's like nothing left of her to regenerate though well, I remember, like, I remember from volume six, the goddess said she is immortal. She can't die. Therefore, where does this go? I mean, like, all right, so every time that we see 
um, Salem get hurt or die, mm -hmm. it's from like impalement or from blood loss or other stuff like that. So like she'll take, she, as you've already seen, she'll take a sword to the chest, mm -hmm. but all she has to do is remove it and she'll just regenerate. And like that, Hale's just bashed her face in. What I'm thinking is, I'm thinking of like a cell from the cell games or the cell songs of Dragon Ball Z Kai, mm -hmm. no, Dragon Ball Z, um, where if you destroy every last bit of him, nothing can go back. And the same for Boo. If every single cell, molecule, atom is gone, destroyed, completely obliterated, then there's nothing left to regenerate. I know that this is probably a stretch, and I know that they say that, yeah, you're right, Salem is technically immortal and she'll always come back, but like, seriously, if there's nothing of her to come back from, mm -hmm. which back then when she was created and she was first cursed, there was nothing that powerful would actually do that because mm -hmm. magic was gone, and weapons back then, it was like a thousand year difference. Can I just ask though, like, is she like getting these relics mostly because she wants to talk to the goddess? I feel like she does. Because she... you, you gotta think. The, they said that the um, if you collect all four relics, as of right now, she's got three. She's got two. I she has. I thought she had, she has the lamp. What does she have? All right, okay, so, th this shows how our this shows how our Ruby fan base could be right now. Yeah, we're gonna keep going with this. All right, <laughs> yeah. so um, let's let's just like this. so we got the lamp, which is the relic of knowledge, knowledge, and that came from Haven Academy, right? Right. And then, now we're at Atlas with the Spear of Creation. Mm -hmm. She ain't got it yet. Penny hasn't got to the vault yet. I don't know. I honestly forgot what I already had with Penny. And then, there's still Vacuo. Mm -hmm. And then there's Beacon. Neither one of which has been touched. You know, it's just gonna... I, I'm thinking because the fact of how she got this way. Because, like, I've been wa I watched Volume 6 mostly before we watched this. Because, one, that's actually my favorite volume. But, like, you know, we want to know, like, it show, it tells you what is, like, why we're here, mostly. Like, why are, like, you know, why is she attacking? Why are there grim everywhere? Why are there, like, you know, what has happened? You know, like, you got to think, from volume six, um, Oz, Osmond got sick and died. And then she wanted him back, but... The god of light. light is refusing, and he has a good point. Of course, the god of dark does. He he brought him back, but then that's when the the that's when I got. That's when the shit show started. Yeah. So you know, it's. I'm just gonna tell you right now. After seeing that, I really want to know what happened next. And I'm sure it's probably gonna be in the next episode. And if it's not, and we have to wait two weeks. It's going to be, like, okay, we know where the other group, Blake, Ruby. Blake, Ruby, Weiss, Penny, Nora. Like, we know we're all there at, geez. from, we're, we know where they're all at from the last episode. And now. We know what the Hound is. And now we know what's happening oh, with, well. so. The question is, here's what I'm so hung up on. We have Neil. So Neil was in, uh, spoilers ahead, sorry. Mm-hmm. Uh, we should have announced that when we first started the video. That's Spoilers right. ahead. Um, Neo was inside the, uh, the room where mm -hmm. Salem was holding onto the lamp. Sure. And she was spying on Hazel Emerald and cute boy Oz. I like to call him cute boy Oz. But, um, she was spying on them and heard him say the password. Now, I don't know if Neo knows that the password is Jin because Emerald doesn't know that the password is Jin and she was actually in the room. Okay. So... You know, it, it's just going to be, we're, we're just, to be honest right now, I think we're just going to have to wait and see. I don't want to wait and see, though. I want to see Neo do some shit. Honestly, I feel like Jin is going to be the word. She's going to say Jin, but they're like, not going to put it on That'll be her first word in the whole Ruby's dilemma. Like, the whole, like, she never said anything in Ruby Chibi. She never said anything in Ruby Now. Oh, she does, like, little huffs and grunts. Yeah, so. But you know what? They're probably not even going to show it. They're probably just going to have Jin say, my little friend here awakened me and blah, 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 blah. So we're probably not even okay. going to be able to hear her talk just because the creators of Rooster Teeth want to go that far with keeping her mute. And I don't like it. Yeah. You know, it's funny too, because now I think we're, I think we're not only pretty much done with our comments on this show right now. You know yeah. what? Okay. End the video. I'm done <laughs> okay. with you. Now. All right. We will see you guys next week and we'll see what happens then. Bye. Peace.